Gerard the Completionist is just a fat lard. Like, what, what else do you want me to say in these rants? What else do you want me to say besides the fact that he friggin' took a $600,000 of money and just friggin' bought cupcakes? Like, that's all there is to it. He bought sugar icing. He bought friggin' condiments. He bought mayonnaise. He bought mustard, ketchup, relish, onions. Anything to friggin' put more toppings on his fast food Big Mac that he gets Uber Eats delivered right to his fat gut and his smelly uh, friggin' basement that he dwells in all day. That smells like friggin' dog feces and cat piss. Cause he's got those two going on. The guy's wor- in one of those pictures, he's wearing that stupid little dog collar thing where it's like, if he has an injury, just funneling the food right to his mouth. That's what's happening there. Gerard the Completionist is the only guy on planet Earth that his gravitational pull from his weight, it, gra- it, it, it attracts food. It doesn't attract just solid objects. It doesn't attract humans or women or like anything else. It just attracts food. That's his special power. If Gerard the Completionist, aka Gerard the Lard was a superhero, his friggin' superpower would have to do something with attracting all the food right over to his stupid little belly button because instead of eating it through his mouth, that's too much work for him, right? He burns too many calories trying to chew food, so instead they just inject it right into his belly button, right into his stomach. He likes the feeling of it of himself being full. He doesn't even get pleasure from eating and the taste. He just gets pleasure of the feeling of being full, laying on his stupid smelly couch at Shovelware Land, aka Indie Land, sitting there with a full belly button, being a fat lard, trying to get money from all these people that are friggin' donating him for his stupid little Alzheimer's and dementia charities, which he didn't even do. He was too fat and lazy to get his fat self off the goddamn couch and go to the goddamn bank and get a stupid checkbook out that has a cupcake on it and friggin' sign it $600,000 and signed by Gerard the Lard straight to that charity friggin' foundation. But he couldn't even do that, all right? His dad, okay, his dad runs an annual uh, friggin' golf tournament every single year to get more money, charity, right to his gut. Like, the, that's the expense. One of the expenses in the Gulf Charity Charity Foundation is Gerard's gut, and that's what it's labeled as. It's labeled as Gerard's gut. Think of how smelly Gerard's clothes are at the end of the day after he's done farting in them, after he's done sweating in them, after he's got bacon grease on them, ketchup stains, Cheeto stains, potato chip stains, anything you can think of. Think of how smelly his clothes are at the end of the day, okay? There's not one laundry machine out there in this world that can house a compartment big enough to friggin' hold one wardrobe of Gerard's because he friggin' gets quadruple times quadruple XL shirts out the yin yang. That piece of garbage, all right, was sitting there for 10 years in shovelware land while his, well, while his other cucked incels, we got one guy with long hair, we got one girl with short hair that's colored friggin' green. We got this other cuck with a neck beard, uh, a short neck beard. They're friggin' playing the games. They're the ones actually doing the hard work, setting up the systems, hooking up the cables. And you, you ask Gerard, hey Gerard, you wanna you wanna lend me a hand here and try to like, you know, can you just take that HD cable and slot it into that HD socket? And he's gonna be like, where's the food? That's all he's gonna ask is, where's the food? He needs to be paid in food. What a scumbag. $600,000, right? He sat there and then what does he do? He uses his, he uses his mommy as a friggin' defense mechanism over and over and over again when no one's even mentioning his mom. (laughs) That's the thing, right? We're not even mentioning his mom. We're saying, hey, Gerard, you're the scumbag who friggin' took money in your fast food account, gained hamburger interest, and bought McDonald's Happy Meals, Burger King friggin' Whoppers, and Wendy's uh, fries. You did all that. We're saying you're the problem, and you're sitting there as a defense mechanism, crying on the internet, saying, how dare you say I used my mommy's passing away in dementia as a friggin' uh, as a way to steal money. We're not saying that. Again, I'm going to reiterate for all you people. For all you butt hurt Gerard fans, let me reiterate to you. I don't know how his mom looks. I don't care how she looks. I don't know what her name is. I don't know what she was diagnosed with. It's irrelevant. What is relevant is that Big Mac and Gerard's gut. That's what's relevant right now, okay? It's because of those two pieces of trash 
They have nothing to friggin' do except go take charity money and steal it from every single sorry sack of crap out there at Shovelware Land. Like, mm-hmm. there's no nuance to this. People are going to see this, and they're going to immediately go, that Gerard guy who's been nice to a bunch of people actually isn't very nice overall. Fuck him. Let's get rid of him. And- friggin' Shovelware Land. That's where they go and play Shovelware games, and then you got Gerard the Completionist shilling for friggin' uh, Sea of Stars for two years straight. He was so happy that they friggin' put his NPC in the char- uh, character in the game, Gerard the Constructionist. Oh, yeah. He's in the game, the Gerard the Constructionist NPC. is like, guys, we need more money so we can build more. We have more building plans to build a house. The only room that he's friggin' uh, interested in building in a house is the kitchen because he's going to have four stoves, five microwaves, six friggin' stove tops, seven. He's going to have ten fridges in there. We know that because Gerard's friggin' uh, diet in two days is three fridges fully stocked he's gonna eat everything and don't don't bet there's gonna be a celery stick in there no 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 he's not gonna eat veggies he's gonna eat the most disgusting fattest greasiest food you can ever think of he's so fat and greasy that his friggin money that's take he's been stealing for six hundred thousand dollars they've gotten greasy too his hands are so greasy that when he tries to receive donation money from all these cucked virgin incels that go to shovelware land, the friggin' bills slip out of his hand because they're so slippery from all the grease that's friggin' dripping off his dirty, disgusting neck beard. It's just out of control with Gerard the Completionist. That's all he's doing. That's all he did for 10 years until friggin' Mustafa from Some Ordinary Gary's and Carl Jobs came onto the scene and was like, hey, wait a minute. We looked at your little uh, your little papers, your little uh, tax papers that you're supposed to friggin' uh, donate this money. And there's a big, frig- there's a big fat zero in uh, uh, money donated. But guess what? In the expenses slot, there's 30,000, 50,000, 800,000. Geez, uh, can we go into specific details of what those expenses were? Yes, we can. Number one, a Big Mac. Number two, a McChicken sandwich with extra mayo. Number three, Mr. Sub 12 uh, foot longs, breaded chicken, BLTs, and a friggin' veggie lovers just for the hell of it because he just needs to, he wants to be greedy and order one thing off the menu, everything. It's just ridiculous. And then, and then he has the nerve. Gerard has the nerve. Gerard has the nerve to wear a sequential XL shirt, all right? A sequential XL joggers, which have a, has piss stains and poo stains on it because he's too lazy to sit on a toilet. That, that freaking gasses him out. <laughs> he's sitting there on his stupid couch, which his cushions is getting all stretched out. All right, it's browning from all the farts he's doing on it. He's got a stupid modern red brick background because he's so modern, right? Oh yeah, Gerard, he's so modern and so cool. Let's get all the nice setting and environment going. So he's got the brick background, he's got the stupid couch, sequential XL clothes. And then he has the nerve to sit there and say he's gonna sue everyone that says anything about him stealing that charity money for 10 years, guys, 10 years. Carl Jobs asked him in the friggin' call, he said, when, at what point did you know that the charity money was not being donated? And friggin' Carl, uh, uh, friggin', uh, what's his name? Uh, Gerard the Lard says at 2021, near the end of 2021. So why is it Gerard the Lard, you fat lard? Why is it that you still sat at IndieLand on your disgusting couch in 2022 and 2023 and he still said to people that this money is being donated to this charity and that charity and this charity. why did you say that that is how we know you're lying because you just admitted it on the call you dummy and on that same leaked call you even tried to freaking bribe those uh two people that leaked the call uh you've tried to bribe them with hush money to shut up about the freaking donation he's gonna give you he's gonna pay you in freaking fast food coupons Guys, if you want to get Gerard the Lard a friggin' Christmas present, fast food coupons. That's his number one thing. He just wants the coupons up the yin-yang, okay? He's going to go for all, all the chocolate sundaes you can think of. He's going to go all for the extra fries. Gerard the Lard is the type of guy that when he's in the drive through well, first of all, he, he has to get a, a door dash to him because he's too fat and lazy to get himself up and go in a car and actually drive. Driving is too many calories for him to burn, so he needs to sit and dwell in his basement. And he's the type of guy that orders fries with no salt. So they're forced to make it fresh right at there, right at the friggin' stand. Okay. My God. Good Lord. Good Lord. And now 
Like his friggin' dad's still running the golf tournament, annual golf tournament in 2024. He's still, he still has that big fat donation button right there on the friggin' golf website. They still want more money. And then in the Open Hand Foundation, aka Open Mouth Foundation, which Gerard was a board member of, then he came on and says, guys, I'm going to not be a board member. Are you guys happy now? I'm, I'm following the rules. No, we're not happy, okay? Regurgitate all that disgusting fast food that you've taken from us and all the freaking money you use to order your fast food stuff, you piece of trash.